Hey, what's up everyone, Matt here. Keyboards are one of the most opinionated sections of technology. People love what they love and they really hate what they hate. Now, for a lot of people when looking at a professional style keyboard, they tend to go the mechanical keyboard route. Now for me, I'm the total opposite. I hate mechanical keyboards. I really love the chiclet style. Now, if you're like me and you like those chiclet style keys, I think I found one that's really quite good. This is the Logitech K780 and it's a full desktop keyboard, but it's a bit more than that as well. It does pretty much everything you'd expect from a normal keyboard. It works over Bluetooth or through a USB dongle, so if you don't want to use Bluetooth, you can use USB or vice versa. It's also a full desktop keyboard, so it has a number pad built in. So if you're doing a lot of spreadsheets or you just need the number pad for whatever reason, this one has you covered. One thing that kind of concerned me at first is that these keys are circular. I thought that would make a difference, but actually it really doesn't. I can, don't really feel a difference typing on this or a normal square style keyboard. But besides it being circular, the key feel here is quite good. I found it to be one of the better keyboards I've ever typed on, especially for the chiclet style. There's plenty of feedback, it doesn't feel mushy, and you do get that sound, although it's still relatively quiet. So as a keyboard, it does pretty much everything you would want, but let's get to the features that I think put it a notch above the rest. One thing is that this keyboard is multi-device, so you can pair it with your Android, iOS, Mac, Windows, pretty much anything you can connect this keyboard to. You can connect it to three different devices at a time, and when you want to switch, you just push the one, two, or three button up at the top, and it'll quickly switch to that device. Now this is really useful because of another feature, and that's a built-in stand for your tablets and phones. This is actually what really piqued my interest in this keyboard because I've seen these stands in mobile keyboards before, but I've never actually seen them in desktop style, and this one was one of the first that I've ever seen. What I mainly use this for is when I'm writing scripts for these videos. I can be typing on my iPad and looking at what I'm typing about on the iMac screen, and when I wanna switch between them, I just hit a button, I switch back to my iMac, and vice versa. It's very fast and efficient. Now, of course, this works with pretty much any device out there, so as long as it fits in a little cradle, you can use that to type on and you can switch between different devices. And it's also just a nice place to keep your devices. It can just be sitting right there in the cradle all the time and you can use it whenever you need to. Now, as for any complaints about this, really not too many, just a few little nitpicks. One is that if you have multiple devices in this stand and they're different sizes, the angle of which they're tilted isn't going to be the same, which for me is just, just a little bit of an annoyance. Doesn't really affect any way you use it, just a little annoying to me. Another is I wish this keyboard was rechargeable. Right now it runs on AAA batteries and the battery life is great, don't get me wrong. It's supposed to last 24 months and I can't really test that, but so far I haven't had any issues with that. But it would be nice that once it runs out, I would just be able to plug it in over micro USB or USB type C and just recharge it instead of having to get new batteries. But again, just a little nitpick. Now lastly, and probably the most annoying to me is that the keys at the top where you would use to switch devices is the same as what you would use on a Mac to change the brightness of your display. Now admittedly, I didn't search too hard to find a fix to this, but with those keys there, I can't change the brightness on my display. And that is definitely annoying. I'm sure there's a way to fix it. And if you know how, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. So yeah, no real deal breakers here. And if you like chiclet style keyboards, definitely give this one a try. It has a few other features that you don't get in some other keyboards and it also has a nice key feel. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanna thank Logitech for sending this keyboard out for review. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. Let me know what kind of keyboard do you like. Do you like mechanical or do you like chiclet? Also, be sure to subscribe so you can see when new videos are out every Tuesday on Friday and follow me over on social media. Links for that will be all down below. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Again, my name is Matt and I'll see you next time. See ya.